Well, hello there. So most of my videos, I'm showing you what I find out in the wilds of thrift stores and auction houses and garage sales and the like. And I'm showing you what I purchased them for and what I hope to sell them for. But the facts are, I'm not making money until I sell it. So today I'm going to show you a few things that did sell. Not just that I found out in the wilds, but now they've actually sold because that's what you want to know. What am I really making? Show you the money. So let's take a look at that stuff right now. It is a Wednesday, so that means the stuff you were looking at here sold on a Tuesday. I tend to ship out at least four days a week, sometimes five, sometimes even six if I'm really ambitious or something important needs to go out on a Saturday. Weekdays tend to not do as much volume. On these O'Neill shorts, they were part of an auction lot. They're brand new. I sold these for 20 bucks and they're paying 20 bucks plus a little over five dollars for shipping i paid roughly five dollars for these i'm gonna actually make about 12 bucks on these so i'm more than doubling my money doing this job every morning when i wake up i feel like this guy because this is such a fantastic job to resell stuff online this little unicorn sold for 12 dollars plus about five dollars shipping i only paid three dollars for this i'm gonna make about 11 to 12 dollars on that little unicorn thank you unicorn you're a good boy or girl. These Vera Bradley, they're a bit dirty. I found them at a garage sale. Even dirty stuff sales and makes me dirty money. I paid a dollar for these. They sold for eight, plus they're paying about five dollars more for shipping. So I'm looking at about a five dollar profit, meaning I five times my money thanks to Vera Bradley and her dirty sandals. These are part of an auction lot. These are vintage old uh, Levi's. I paid, let's see, just about six dollars for these. I sold them for 30 plus nine dollars shipping. I'm looking at about an $18 profit on these. So I'm more than doubling, tripling my money on Levi's. We have this Frasier, which I actually just bought this past Saturday and it sold very quickly within 72 hours this sold. Uh, I bought it for eight at an estate sale and somebody paid, I uh, put it up for 40. I accepted best offer of 30 bucks. You can ship anything media, it goes pretty cheap. So uh, they paid $30 plus the $8 shipping. And after fees and everything, I'm looking at about an $18. We got this cool flyer. Watch out, unicorn. It's not all about you. Atlanta Braves, these old flyers, these vintage ones. This one's from 1995. You can see it's a bit dirty, but collectors don't care because these pennants, they're hard to find and they're vintage and they're cool. I paid $3 at a thrift store for that. I sold it for 24 plus they're paying $6 for shipping. After all said and done, I'm making about 18 bucks and I paid three. So I six times my money. Listen to all these multipliers of money that I'm making. And finally, these nice Nike pants are like soccer running. Uh, they're special edition pants. I don't know exactly what they are. Uh, Tottenheim, I don't know if they're like soccer pants overseas, European or so. Anyway, they're part of an auction lot. Uh, I got them for about $7. Purchased, I put them up for 60. I took a best offer of 40 bucks plus $7 shipping, all said and done, I'm making about $28, four times in my money. So total for everything on this Tuesday where I was doing so many other things and listing new things. That's some stuff, that's some actually, some some actual money that I, that I made. So it's not always just in theory, I actually made it. That's pretty cool. The point of these videos, as always, the reason I put this information out there is just to show that it's possible. All the stuff that I sell, you could find out in the wilds of thrift stores and garage sales and auctions. It's not exclusive to me or my heir. You can find this stuff anywhere. And also, honestly, this changed my life. I talk about it a lot. I've been reselling online for over 10 years now. It has restructured my life in ways that I would have never imagined. And then a lot of the people that I do it that have stuck with it, it has dramatically changed their lives as well not just financially but just the, it, it frees me from the burdens of the traditional society of having to go into work for someone else under someone else's rule and law and i get so much time doing this on my time and i can go out there and spend more of my time the one resource that we can never get more of i get to spend more time doing things that i love that don't have anything to do with work that don't have anything to do with worrying about financial obligations and i can really spend time which is the most important thing that we have to go out there and have fun and be with loved ones and doing things that I love. So I hope you can give it a shot. If you're any interest at all, there's an eternity of information on YouTube. That's how I got my start. That's how I learned about this. 
and there are so many great content creators on reselling online and they're all over the United States and even the world. This is an opportunity that is out there. If you wanna change things up and you don't have to get into it full time or part time, you can just do it on your own time until you figure out if you even like it. And if you do, I suggest just giving it uh, some time. There's a little bit of a learning curve, just like anything that you learn, but it's simple. At the end of the day, you're just buying stuff for cheap and you're selling it for more than you bought it for. And it's just learning the other bits in between. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you, or I hope to see you out in the wilds.